discuss managing named ranges. Earlier we talked about the fact that you could select a cell on your, on your sheet and um, you could simply uh, go up to the name box and highlight it and then we'll, put, we'll call this cell example and press enter and it, it's named now. But there is a, man, a way to manage named ranges so let's go to the formula tab and then you go across and it says name manager. So here you have all the named ranges that we have in this sheet. And this is the place that maybe you really don't want that cell to be named example. So now what you, you, you've selected it so you can select delete and that name range it'll verify it and then it will go away. So now let's show you how to use a named range in a formula. Our vacation calculator here indicates that they get 0.583 days per month a month of work. Or so let's click on that and let's go to the name manager here and now we're going to click on new. And so it wants you to name the range, so we're going to say vacation per month. And then you can write a, a comment in here des describing what this is for and say this is um, um, what employees earn for vacation each month. So that way when somebody comes afterwards and tries to figure out what this all means you have a little explanation for them so that's nice to have. So we'll click OK and you'll be brought to the uh, main manager again and here you have the little comment put in here as well. So let's go close. Now this formula, now we used an absolute reference here. So instead of the absolute reference Let's highlight this value here and let's start typing in um, vacation and there, there it comes up vacation per month. So let's click on that and now you can see that instead of the absolute reference in there you have vacation per month which is the named range and you press enter and you can drag this down and you will have all of your values are going to be va are going to be multiplied by vacation per month the named range so once again we could go up to the name manager and there you you can see all the named ranges within this worksheet